Echo Fighters. I think they're really cool. They served as a way to bring some fan favourite characters into the Smash roster whilst cutting down on the development times that would be needed to make them into fully fledged fighters. Thanks to Echoes, we got to see Daisy, we got to see Dark Samus, we got to see Krom. People had been asking for these characters for a long time, so seeing them added to the cast was really sweet. However, the only drawback is that these guys were often left with movesets that didn't really fit their personalities or accurately reference the attacks they used in their own respective games. Welcome to Redesigning Smash, a series where we take a look at current Smash movesets and give them a fresh coat of paint. The aim of this is to modernise or declone different characters to make them more representative of their in-game appearances. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the Princess of Sarasaland, Daisy. As always, we're going to be starting with the special moves. Now for Daisy's side special, we're going to be pulling from one of her appearances in the Mario Sports spin-offs. More specifically, this move is going to be from the Mario Tennis series. Performing the first side B input would cause Daisy to gently throw a tennis ball into the air in preparation for a serve. Then the player would have to press B again to swing the racket. Depending on the point at which the ball was hit, it would travel at a different arc and speed, so you could either have a slow high serve or a straight fast one. However, if timed perfectly, the Wonder Flower from Mario Power Tennis would activate and a ring of petals would appear around the racket. This would lead to a powerful serve and would cause significantly more knockback than before. As for her up special, this one takes from one of the most underrated Mario sports games out there in my opinion, Mario Hoops 3 on 3, or Mario Slam Basketball as it's known over here in the UK. This would take the form of her special shot, where Daisy leaps up into the air holding a basketball and spins around while being surrounded by daisy petals. This would be a primarily vertical recovery option, but could be aimed towards either side for a little bit of horizontal movement. The second part of the move would be activated by pressing B again, and this would be a slam dunk motion. The most similar move in function I could liken this to is Clouds Up Special, which works in a similar way. Daisy's version would be different in the sense that it would have higher horizontal mobility and a lower damage output. Then there's her down special, which I've decided to take from Mario Strikers Charged, and I know this is pretty ironic given the current situation with Mario Strikers Battle League, but that's besides the point. In that game, when a character was in possession of the ball, they could perform a deke, which was essentially a way to avoid being tackled when timed correctly. For Daisy's deke, she somehow gained the ability to teleport, so I'll be using that here. Pressing down B would cause Daisy to disappear and reappear about a second later. Where Daisy reappears would depend on the player's input. Left on the control stick would cause her to reappear to the left and vice versa for right. If there's no input, then Daisy reappears in the same spot that she disappeared in. Upon reappearing, if the player were to press B again, Daisy would perform a pretty powerful kick. This move would be helpful for quickly getting around the stage as well as dodging and counter-attacking opponents. Now for a while, I was struggling to think of a good neutral spell special for Daisy. I'd look through all of her appearances in the Mario sports games, and to me, nothing quite fit the bill. But then it hit me. This moveset doesn't exclusively have to take from the sports spin-offs, because after all, Daisy does have a couple of appearances in the main series Mario games. That's right, for Daisy's neutral special, we're going all the way back to her debut in Super Mario Land. In this game, power-ups were few and far between. You had the staple mushrooms and stars, but there was one peculiar item that was exclusive to Sarasaland, and that was the Super Ball Flower. This power-up essentially acted as Super Mario Land's replacement for the Fire Flower, and allowed Mario to shoot Super Balls, which could bounce off different surfaces, collect coins, and most importantly, take out enemies. I feel like this technique would be a great fit to repurpose into Daisy's neutral special. It would function as a relatively short range projectile with an interesting trajectory. Rather than being thrown out straight like most projectiles tend to be, Daisy would throw the Super Bowl diagonally like Mario does in Super Mario Land. The angle of Daisy's throw could be altered slightly using the control stick, so it would be possible to throw the ball steeply towards the ground or in a shallower fashion. Depending on this angle, the ball would then bounce off the ground to potentially deal quite a bit of damage to an opponent. While still perfectly usable from the floor, this move's greatest use would probably be from the air, where the diagonal movement could be used to snipe recovering opponents. When it comes to Daisy's standard attacks, there are a couple of fundamental things that I want to change. 
overall from this moveset, I want to see a much more aggressive Daisy than we have at the moment. Right now, she shares all of her attacks with Peach, and due to this, they all seem a bit too dainty and don't really fit with Daisy's personality. The first change I'd make is to her run speed. While Peach isn't amongst the ranks of Incineroar, Robin, and Ganondorf, she's definitely on the slower end of the spectrum. She clocks in at 61st place as far as speed goes, tied with Corrin, Ivysaur, Snake, and of course, Daisy. For this redesign, I'll be making Daisy's run speed significantly higher, bumping her up a few ranks to around where Young Link sits. Another consequence of Daisy being an Echo Fighter is that she shares Peach's ability to float, in spite of the fact that she can't do this in the Mario universe. For this reason, I'd remove this attribute and instead give Daisy an increased airspeed as well as a little something else to compensate. You see, in Super Mario Run, Daisy actually had the ability to use an extra jump in midair, so this would be a cool attribute to carry over into Smash. This means that in total, Daisy would have three jumps, one from the ground followed by two midair jumps, giving her one more than the majority of the cast. And hey, while we're on the subject of Super Mario Run, Daisy can wall jump in that game too, so let's throw that in the mix as well. Now let's get on to some actual attacks. Daisy's jab would be a classic one-two punch, with a left hook followed swiftly by a right. If held down, this attack would also function as a rapid jab. While this doesn't directly reference anything, it makes sense given Daisy's tomboyish nature, and she has been seen to box in the Mario and Sonic games. As for her forward tilt, this one would be a pretty basic tennis racket swing, nothing too fancy. Her up tilt would borrow from another Mario sports spin-off and would be a nice arcing golf swing, while her down tilt would be a simple sweeping kick. Then there's her dash attack, which would be a slide tackle, just like in Strikers. This would function similarly to Mario's dash, just a bit more damaging. Not much would change with Daisy's grabs and throws, except for the fact that she'd do all of the pummeling herself, rather than having a toad do all the work like Peach does. Then you've got her aerials, which I'd say can stay relatively similar to how they are currently, just a bit more powerful. Rather than using her crown for a forward air, I think it would be more in character for Daisy to just straight up punch the opponent like Ganondorf does, and instead Instead of doing multiple kicks like Peach does for her down air, I think it would be fitting for Daisy to do one big stomp. Like Ganondorf does. You know what, just give her the Ganondorf up air as well, it's almost like an overhead kick which she doesn't strike as anyway. I swear I didn't mean to turn Daisy into Ganondorf, man, leave me alone. <laughs> Okay, that's enough of that, let's talk about her smashes, and no, I'm not about to give her the Doriar as well. <laughs> For her forward smash, she'd swing her signature baseball bat from the Mario Sluggers series. Much like Ness's take on the attack, this move would also be capable of reflecting projectiles if timed correctly. As for other smashes, well, the special abilities in Mario Strikers Charge were always weird, but at the same time, super cool to me. While Luigi had these purple vines, Diddy Kong harnessed the power of meditation for some reason, and in the case of Daisy, she had this blue crystal type of thing. It's odd, but strangely fitting, and I feel like there's quite a few places this could be incorporated into a moveset. During her special strike, Daisy punches the football with a crystal-empowered fist to send it slamming towards the goal. I feel like this punch could be reconfigured slightly into an uppercut-like motion, which would fit nicely with the hands-on, aggressive style we're trying to convey here. Alongside the special strikes, another ability that's common to the characters in Strikers Charged is their character-specific items. Daisy, once again, uses her powers to summon crystals up from the ground, launching anyone around her into the air. In Smash, I think this move would make the most sense as a down smash, with the crystal simultaneously coming up on either side of Daisy, meaning that it would be able to hit opponents both in front and behind her. Now, it's never really specified if these crystals have any kind of elemental properties. They could be ice crystals, they could be some kind of blue electricity, but I'm just gonna go out on a limb and give them ice properties. Ordinarily, this smash would send the opponents upwards, but at a high enough percentage, it would have the ability to freeze them for a short amount of time. This would allow Daisy to follow up with any kind of attack, but would set up particularly nicely for a forward smash. As it stands, Daisy's final smash is the same as Peach's, except instead of eating giant peaches to recover health, she eats giant daisies? What? There are quite a few different routes I could have gone down for this final smash, but considering that I've used most of her special shots from the spin-offs as other attacks, I decided to take something else from Daisy's debut appearance in Super Mario Land. 
For this move, Daisy would summon the final boss of the game, Tatanga, who'd come flying on stage aboard his spaceship to gun down the opposition with a flurry of energy ball attacks. I feel like this would be a nice nod to Daisy's past and would help to keep the legacy of a now long forgotten adversary alive. Since a lot of Daisy's animations, like her taunts and victory animations, were made from the ground up for Smash Ultimate, I'd say that there isn't too much that needs to be changed on that front. One exception is that she could have more of a fighting stance for her idol animation like Little Mac does, as this would tie nicely into some of the moves I've given her, as well as her more energetic personality. I'd say that Daisy's costumes could do with a bit of work though. Alongside a standard dress, I think it would be cool to have her strikers, tennis and golf gear as available options, perhaps with two colour variations for each. For example, with her strikers costume, one variant would be her signature orange, while the other would be her aqua uniform that she wears when she's on the away team. Thanks for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this redesign. As always, if you have any other character suggestions, please let me know and I'll catch you later.